That's amazing! That's amazing! They locked us up! That's so funny! <laughs> what are you in for? Uh. <laughs> I mean, I caused a fuss! <laughs> uh, that's... That's actually amazing. So this guy has a daughter, okay. We'll, we'll have to remember that. <laughs> Fine, I'll get dressed. Is this enough? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that's that's awesome. I I'm so happy that that happened. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh. Hey. Where am I? Where did I, where where am I? Are you running away or running to me? You're running to me? Hello, I am a Vo. This is what Vo are like. Ooh. Hey, so you're a special Vo, aren't you? Otherwise, the soldiers would be arresting you right Ooh. now. So, why are you so special? Uh? Hey, Dahlia, you better not be speaking to that Vo. Didn't Miss Ashai teach you the first rule about Vo? For young Vi, speaking with a Vo will only invite misfortune. <laughs> I'm not talking to the vote, I'm just talking. I can't even see, so it's not my fault who comes walking by. Oh. <sighs> that doesn't even make any sense. Oh. Listen up, Vo. You shouldn't go poking your nose into Gerudo life. You're free to come and go as you wish, but do, don't do disturb the peace of our town. Um. Huh. I can't afford those. Those are very expensive. I don't even know where I am. Where am I? What is down there? I'm gonna go find out what's down there. It's a well. Whoa, 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 what's that? Hold the phone. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? It's you, at long last. You, the Vo, reading this letter, are the Vo I was fated to meet. And I am the Vi you were destined for. You must hurry and rescue me. I'm locked away from the outside world. Do not worry, though. I will send all of my love to you until you come and find me. Stay safe and know that we will meet, meet soon. It is our destiny, after all. Kaliban. What? What? Break it. Can I shoot it? My last arrow? I get my arrow back? Huh. Well, that was fortuitous. Um, I have no idea where I am. I was meaning to do a quest, and then I decided to uh, get a little bit froggy. Uh, there are more notes? Ooh. Ooh, or is it the same note? How did that happen? What is that? Is this the same one? So someone's just dumping... Wait, was it... Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up. Are we at the end of a quest? I think we're at the end of... Yeah, we are at the end of the quest. Was that woman dropping notes down? Did... Would we have found these and followed this river all the way up? In that regard, it's very similar to... Uh, what, what was that one... What was that one Zora quest? <laughs> It is. Kaliban. Uh -huh. I'm the man of your dreams. Spa spawning from the floor. I am the goblin vo. The bakoblin vo. The bakavo? The bakavo. What? What do you want? I'm I'm busy right now. I need to make sure the vo of my dreams hears my hears of my feelings for him. But how can I pro properly focus that positive energy? Or put the bottles in the water while this guy is loitering Aww. around. Get out of here! Scram! But I'm... <laughs> I'm the vo of your dreams, girl! 
<laughs> Hello! I'm the foe of your dreams and your nightmares! <laughs> Look, I already told you, if you're if you're absolutely just going to stand around, if you absolutely have to just stand around, could you find somewhere else to do it? Huh? Well, I guess I need to follow the river downstream. Where on earth am I? Where is this? I was, yes, I'm a man, you're not. Maybe we could stare into each other's eyes? No, okay. Where on a, I got arrested and now I'm like, I, I got isekai'd. I, I undressed myself and got isekai'd into Amazon land. Savota. Huh? Oh, you're the Vo. Sorry, I did not have time to de I didn't have time to deal with a Vo right now. All of my attention needs to be on preparing to welcome the out of town Vi. The sand shroud is making things difficult. Out of town Vi. Mm. I suppose I can tell you, after all, your situation is unique. As it happens, young Gerudo aren't traditionally allowed to interact with the Vo. As for Vi born outside town, when they sh reach a certain age, they're summoned back to Gerudo huh? Town. That small Vi over there is named Aklet. Ah, she recently arrived here along with her mother, Perda. Mm. But Perda t uh, started working at one of the shops, one that has a complicated relationship with the town. So she is rarely in her shelter anymore. <sighs> That must be why Aklet spends so much time looking at that drawing on the wall over there. Ah. Thankfully, this town is like one big family. I'm, s I'm sure that that little one will get used to living here soon enough. Did I just, um... Is that a child? Uh -huh. I, I hope not. It's hard to tell with, you know, the heights being all out of whack everywhere. And Link being the shortest man to ever exist. Why is Link so short? In times of peace, in a sedentary lifestyle, which is where Link is from, people are taller. This is a proven fact that has been proven for a long time. The difference in height only takes a few de generations to start manifesting itself. Ergo, Link should be taller, and the people here who have lived for three generations in poverty, war, and oppression scrounging for every scrap they can find should be short. Link should be six foot four and everyone else should be five foot seven. Just saying, this has bugged me for a long time. I excused it in other Zelda games because there was no massive time skip and Link could have just been naturally short, but I've been waiting for so long since, since Breath of the Wild to talk about this. Link should be tall. <clears throat> you must be that man. I mean, Vo, that everyone is talking about. It's so unusual to see a man here. So, did you really get special permission to be in here? All the same, you should still be on your best behavior. <laughs> I refuse. You wouldn't want to end up thrown out or in jail. That's what normally happens when men come here. <laughs> like what happened to that guy over there. But I don't think you have anything to worry about as long as you behave. <laughs> Anyway, this is important. Since you've been allowed in our town, you absolutely have to try the spa plan at Hotel Oasis. The owner of the place, Rama, has a special technique that is all the rage. Originally, I was just another customer looking he to here, to look yeah, coming to here to get relaxed, uh, but I got hooked. Now I work here as, as an assistant. <laughs> uh -huh. The spa plan that Olu offers is reasonably priced and a good option too. But well, just keep in mind that it's discounted for a reason. I, I don't think the results are guaranteed. Uh, I don't think it would be any un... Man, I gotta... First off. I cannot talk to him. I gotta get back on track here. Um, I have... I mean, I could just... I could just ascend out, but... What? Volta. Volta. Hmm. Oh, you must be that Vo everyone is talking about. Say, are, are, you, are Haile and Vo interested in archaeology? Would it surprise you to learn that I am an archaeologist? I'm so, I'm something of an archaeologist myself. After much work, I have finally deciphered all these stele. Ah. Do you want to hear what's written on them? You do, don't you? <sighs> sure. Eh? If you insist. 
First up, the stella over here on the left. It says, The seven heroines who protect the Grudo. Their secret will be expressed on Styx Stelle. <laughs> As for the stella over there on the right, it says, the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, an eighth channels and guides the powers of these seven. Ah. I doubt you know this, being a Hylian Vo, but we Gerudo have long believed in heroines. Hmm. They are said to have protected and guided our people in times past. Unfortunately, I have found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. Hmm. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these enigmatic figures. Some, arg some argue for revering all seven as a collective, and others for worshipping each one as an individual. Certain rabble-rousing contrarians even claim there are not seven, but one. Or eight. If there was one thing scholars love, it is arguing with each other. Ah! But these uh, Stella definitely supports the theory of, of eight. Eh? An incredible discovery, isn't it? I could stop here and rightly say that I have changed the face of archaeology. But if I found the other four Stella, who knows what I might learn about the heroines? I wonder too about this orb I found while searching for the Stella. Is it connected <laughs> somehow? If I gave a presentation on all this, I'd be the star of the archaeology society. Mm. But I have not been able to find any stele besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. <sighs> How I wish I could see the text inscribed on those stele, even if a, even just a picture would serve my purposes. Well, that's that. Uh, I am a photographer. So we're doing this. This is kind of how I want this LP to be separated from others. I want to take pictures of stuff. Both for scrying purposes and obviously... Uh, wait. Wait. That's not what I want. Obviously. For thumbnails. <laughs> okay, come on. Where... Where... I have something to do. The town is under attack. Let me out. I'm in a prison. I was in a prison in a prison. Do I have enough? No. Where? That's not... I don't want to learn about love. I had love. I lost it. I'm moving on. Where... Where am I? Where is this? Where on earth am I? This is not Valley of Silent Statues. This is, oh my word. Oh my word. I can't warp out either. Like I actually have to do this. Ah! Uh, what is that? Oh, it's luminous stone. Whoop! Whoop! Okay. That freaked me out. What is that? Okay, one, for what, for one thing at a time. One thing at a time. I can see the quest marker on my map. I, I kind of know where I need to go. I'm gonna go back and ascend because this is getting ridiculous. I did not mean to get on this wild of a tangent. It's probably a second, a separate episode. I was even hyping it up. Like I was, I was in the groove. I was ready. <laughs> Hello. Um. Hello. I'm ready to do the super serious story. The Sand Shroud, the sudden appearance of the Gibdos and their hives. Strange events keep happening, one after another. And if we saw Zelda in your Karakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. There's something bigger going on, but for now, we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. 
Speak with Boliara and the soldiers, and help us organize our defenses. Oh. Do you have questions about preparing for the battle? Yes. Oh. Talk to Captain Teak in the yard. Work with her to decide how best to deploy our forces. Oh. Pada is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Uh, tell me about the enemy. Good. The Gibdos we've encountered in the desert do not fall easily when struck. Attacks only seem to dole a blade. But fire, fi fire attacks, as well as Lady Riju's lightning, appear to be very effective against oh. them. Rather than relying on the brute force of swords and spears, we should try to explore other ways to damage them. In any case, we learned in the last fight that they are not unbeatable. That is enough to give us hope. Let's, let's look at the armaments first. Ooh, can I take this, please? Yes! Thank you. Oh. Hmm, barricade building. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm confident that I can build a barricade out any of the gates. Would that help you? Ooh. Yes. There are three gates. From the palace, the north gate is ahead. The west gate is left... And the east gate is right. I've got an idea for a barricade. I'll use ir iron barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set it up at? Iron barrels. Um, set it to the west gate because I remember the passageways being very open. Um, actually, no. Set it on the east gate because there are lots of paths off of the east gate, and if Gibdos get into the city, then it's going to be hard to track him down. Oh. Okay, the barricade has been set up at the east gate. That should slow down any enemies that try to attack that position. Oh. Uh, let's talk Ooh. barricades. Okay, oh. I... I chose the east. Oh. Now. Hydromelons. A steak. A mirror. Alright. And a flame emitter. And then. Fine. Uh, that. Need, I definitely need arrows. Ooh, yes! Yes! Look at all this stuff! Gerudo shield. Oh, I needed... Yes, where have you been all of my life? What can I drop? Dropping that, taking that. Let's go. Strong fusion as well. What's in here as well? Silver rupee? Yeah, money! Money is the best defense. Alright. And then... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! That's amazing. I'm... So okay with that. Drop this. We don't need that. Grab that. And lastly, grab that topaz we just got. Yeah, I, th I think we're ready. Oh, wait. I didn't, I didn't check inside that door. I gotta try it, guys. Mirror shield, kind of. We'll give it a shot. Hey. Ah. Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town's walls. It won't be long until we need to deal with this threat. How should we deploy our forces? Where should we send them and where, and when, and where, and how? We, we could spread them out to lightly cover all the gates, or perhaps a concentrated force to protect a weakened Whoa. position. 
We need to decide who to send where. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Spear oh. troops are going to go... I go back, go back, go back. Ah. Okay, we have a cannoneer. Hmm. Wherever I go is going to be fortified. So I think I'm tempted to put the spear troops on the east gate. They can reach through the walls. And we won't have to worry about them, the east gate at all. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, that'll be good. Ooh. That's a good combo. Yeah. Ooh. Good combo. Uh, the sword troops... The north Ooh. seem to be... Uh, have the most... the uh, most hives. So the cannoneer is definitely going on the north gate. Ah! And then... Ah. Hmm. Are we gonna leave the west gate undefended? I think Ooh. we send the sword troops there uh, on the west gate. I'll be on the north. It'll be fine. It's Ooh. going to be our weakest position by far. But I, I can bandy myself between them. East gate, though, will be fine. And with that... I'm gonna go inside here. Nothing. Riju, we are ready. <laughs>